I'm going to a derby today that I've never been to before, that the majority of you guys will never have been to before, and that was also a derby between two champions. It is the Falkirk derby today. It's Stenhouse Muir who won League 2 last season against Falkirk who won League 1 last season and who are also still unbeaten in the championship, by the way. And these two haven't really played each other a lot over the last 15, 20, 30 years even. Although, annoyingly, for the topic of this video, they have actually drawn each other in another cup already this season. They played each other earlier in the League Cup. Falkirk won that game quite convincingly. Oh my god, look how many birds are on that roof. There's hundreds of the little geezers, what's all that about? Anyway, one of the best parts about coming to Stenny for games is... John Anderson and Jim McKay. And your roles here are? We are the kit men. You're both a kit? Kit men and groundsmen. Okay, kit amazing. Men and groundsmen. So without you guys, Orphan this place wouldn't be... Things isn't oh, hard. No. This, this, this place would be falling hearts. apart. Wait, wait, After we've talked to you, one of your jobs will be sorting the kit out, but between times we've got to remove the goals from the football park. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah, because so there's a game on there. So we're multitasking today, yeah, multitasking. Kids playing just now. I'm getting in the way, but... Yeah, um, they're today... just Falkirk guys, never mind about them. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, Derby yeah. Day. Yes, indeed. Is it a big rivalry in the area? Oh, or? There is a big rivalry, especially with Stenis Muir supporters. Yeah. So you no. haven't played each other a lot. I know you played each other... A in the cup this season already, funnily yeah. enough, but generally speaking, you've been in different divisions. For, Always uh, in different divisions. A lot of the history. Um, oh, my brother in laws are Fokker supporters. That's what makes it all weird. So if you win today, then. So even though there's a fair, there's a fair gap um, in standards between the sides, it's a real uh, oh, okay. it's That's still uh, Our team will be up for it, and the fans will be up for it. And you both today. won the league last season there, well, obviously on a good run still exactly. from that. So Fokker it should be good run, I believe, uh, 42 run without a defeat yeah, in the league, going on for it? last season yeah. in the I'll league. Up, yeah. So, uh, but hopefully we can. But a good atmosphere, you say. Today. Good vibe between atmosphere. the two. Oh, good banter. The laptop's out. We're about to do some editing. There's a kids game that's just finished. Proper community club here, where the pitch is used for not just the first team, uh, for men's first team, but also many other teams within the area. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for this one today. The more I'm speaking to people in and around this club today, sounds like it's going to be a mad one. Even though it's SPFL Trust Trophy, I was looking at the games and I thought it's a derby, so should be a good one anyway. But apparently, Falkirk are going to sell out that entire stand there today, which should be 1,800 people, which for an SPFL Trust Trophy game is incredible. And yeah, it's a derby, and yeah, Falkirk are doing well, but still, I can't believe it's going to be that full for today. So, yeah, maybe this is the calm before the storm right now. Split allegiances a little bit for you today. Yeah. <laughs> you work here at Stenny. Work here at Stenny, yeah. But you're a Falkirk supporter. Yeah. Is there a lot of people in this area who maybe have affinities to both clubs? I would say that, yeah. I, I, when I work here, and I go to like B&M and stuff, like during, like before the shifts and that. Yeah, yeah. You always see a few in like Falkirk tops. Oh, okay. And you see this, like the fans from Stenny Spear giving them shadies and stuff. It's like... It's just any area. Oh, like, so there's a little bit of yeah, a little bit of like shadiness. Okay. I know, like for the younger generation, it's like they've developed some sort of hatred with each other. With like the older it's a local generation, derby. there should be a little bit know, of needle between like, the two, but yeah. Whether it be like literally ten minutes away from each other, it's a weird one because everyone's like. Oh, we should hate them, but they're rivals. But they instead of smears doing good, you see all the Falkirk fans actually going, "Oh, they're no bad." Yeah. So, but even though you help out here, yeah, and you're a Falkirk spotter, when the whistle blows later, I'll be who are you there. back in? I'll be in the terrace. You're Falkirk back in Falkirk, Falkirk yeah, Falkirk. and for yourself as well. Yeah, yeah. Falkirk. Similar Falkirk too. And how good is it being a Falkirk fan right now? Then? Something else. It's too, coming off the back of last season and just utter domination. It's then coming into this season. Still unbeaten still in the unbeaten. championships, unbelievable. Forty three games in I the think. league. So wow. Something else. They did. Yeah, I'm good Sam all about the Stirlingshire Cup and how wonderful a cup it was and they asked if you could come up to see it. So. I just want to see the Stirlingshire Cup, yeah. Oh there it is. Right, okay, cool. So this is what Falkirk and Stenny would have would have played for. Yep. Historically, right? Well, this, this one against them in mean, this season is. Uh, it's, this man's an and it's making a comeback, yeah? The, yeah, the competition. Yeah, this man's an ex uh, still in Sierra FA secretary. Okay, yeah. <coughs> so he'll tell you anything you need to know. And so why did the competition come it to laps. an end? Yeah. It laps because nobody wanted to play it. Oh, right, okay, yeah. It's as simple as that. But that's your. That's a league winning trophy from last season, yep, yeah, nice. Challenge Cup. Challenge Cup. This is the ladies championship. Ladies championship, yep, yeah. and then that's the Sterling Shake Cup there. So, if I look on there now, you can see Falkirk, Alloa, yeah. East Sterling. Yeah. Oh, it's a beauty, yeah. Even those guys on the side as well, look at that. 
The quality is just superb. When was that trophy made then, do we know? 1886, That's from 1876. It's almost as old as the Scottish Cup. Yeah, Scottish Cup's the oldest continually used trophy in the world, isn't it? That's. And there's a Stanger Cup, I believe, is the second oldest. Second oldest trophy in world football? No, no, no. It's in the second oldest. In Scotland, in Scotland. Scottish yeah, it's got to be one of the oldest in the world as well. Then, just oh, because of that. Yeah. 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 oh yeah, so it's so just founded in 1883. Falkirk, think... most titles. Yeah. So East Stirlingshire, even Dumbarton, obviously you were saying yeah, uh, outside that. There's Bang. There's a few teams the there anyway. Yeah. Cup, but there are only two teams in Stirlingshire, and that's and that's Stennis Muir and Falkirk. How about Alloa? Are they not? Ah, right. Okay. Well, yeah. Sorry, still in Albion. They're, they're in Stirlingshire. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. The Shire, they're still in. They're still in. East yeah. Still in Camelin, the would they be? They're, they're, they're in it. They're yeah. In it, but they'll not be. They've never won it though. I don't think. Looking at this. Oh, they've, they've won it. Yeah. Camelin. When they were a good year. Camelin yeah. Juniors are yeah, still yeah, in goal. Yeah. Oh yeah, just there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only two. Bonessa have been in it, never yep. won it. Wow, that was fascinating seeing that trophy there in the boardroom because I've been in the boardroom before and had a look around at some of the trophies and stuff. Stenhouse Muir won their first ever league trophy last season. They'd never won a league before, an SPFL competition, um, and they won League Two to get promoted to League One. All the times they'd been promoted, they'd been through the playoffs or coming runners up or whatever um, in different years and different iterations of all the league systems and stuff. But the Sterling Shear Cup, now Falkirk and Stenhouse Muir would have played each other a lot. In the 1800s, early 1900s, in local competitions, there was always local competitions up and down the country. The Glasgow Cup, the Stirlingshire Cup, you name it, any county, any region, there was probably a cup for that region with all the teams. Now, as football has gotten so global and so national, obviously there's European competitions now, there's national competitions, all the localised competitions just kind of fizzled away into nothing. But apparently, they're bringing it back. How are Stenny getting on this season? It's Derby Day today. Can Stenny beat Falkirk? Yeah, it won't be a tough game for us. Tough game, but... Four nil Stenny. Four nil Stenny. Three one Stenny. Oh Stenny! Oh Stenny! Oh, Stenny. Right, yeah, the turnout today. I mean, mate, what do you reckon? Look I at mean, the away stand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think there's about 1,000 maybe. Yeah. I've heard 1,800 in that stand, which is quite amazing. I think this is the highest attended game here since Dundee, well, Queen's Park Dundee in the final day of the championship when Queen's Park were playing in. Wow, unbelievable. For the league winning day, but. What do you think the score's going to be today? I don't know, it's hard to tell because both teams are doing really well, but does it go straight to penalties? Do you know? I actually don't. I've got a feeling it could be a draw, but hopefully it goes straight to pens if so, but what do you reckon? I would love a bit of a, well, I think four will be a bit too strong, but um, it's going to be a close game, it's a cup game, right? So anything yeah. can happen. Cup game, local derby, yeah. right, a few big tackles and a bit of atmosphere maybe. Absolutely. There's a few derbies today, look, Arbroath Montrose, East Fife Dunfermline and this game today. To curl one. Oh. Nothing going on in the game, so. This would be so me if a goal went in right now. Just praying that stand doesn't erupt any second. Oh, they're getting closer. And so are we. But it's taken ages. Right, it is now half time. This right foot, Adam sends it across. Righteous one from McKenna. Slides it across. Volker with the pen. Finley. And the goal is not given. What happened there? So what happened there? He took two touches two of the touches. ball. Apparently two touches. And so it'd be an indirect free kick. Yeah, we've seen a lot of madness on this channel before, but I don't think we've ever seen that. And it's good that we've got the Falkirk commentary team behind us because we actually know what's going on. That's a that's a positive, isn't it, for sitting here? But yeah, weird one. Red card, straight red for Falkirk. 
Falkirk have had a straight red all the way over there. It was kind of like a shoulder barge kind of vibe. It was like a, it looked like a shoulder barge, but if he's caught him in the face, then shoulder to the head, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Any VAR in the SPFL Trust Trophy or? <laughs> this didn't even capture it, mate, so I wouldn't worry about that. Falkirk down to 10 men. Proper derby now. So that's the. Uh... That's the red card there. What do you think? He just. Here you go, mate. We are at the only nil-nil today. Fantastic. Not one nil-nil in this competition, except from right there. Argument <laughs> now. This one has right. Oh, what a hit! Match. Oh. Anyway, Penn. Yeah, Penn to Stenny. Oh, he used to play for Falkirk as well. Yeah. Wow. You won't Of all the teams to beat Falkirk on their incredible run, I know they've probably lost one or two cup competitions already, but for it to be Steny. And Falkirk have already beaten Stenhouse Muir 4 0 this season in a different cup competition. They're down to 10 men, Falkirk, and they've just hit the bar, and then Steny go and score a pen. This game is sparked into life. Some magic. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a magic. Oh wow. What a finish of the bench. It's one one in local view. <laughs> I've never seen two halves of football that have been so completely different. And that stand over there is rocking out. This is the most rocking I've ever seen Ockle view. Rockle view. Wow, that free kick was unbelievable to be fair. Here you go, Falkirk. They couldn't, could they? Oh. And that is full time. I actually don't know if this one goes to penalties or not. Straight to penalty kicks. We don't even know the rules. There's too many competitions and too many rules in football. But yeah, straight to pens, come on. I wonder what end it'll be at. Here comes a ref. Here we go, it's been taken up that end rather than the end with the fans. It's Donaldson. Saved by Darren Jameson. Here he is, the man who scored a penalty during the game for Stenny. They want to start off strong with their best taker, not leaving him till the end. Oh, some unbelievable penalties from Stanley, eh? So this is it, Stanley score here, it's a famous derby win. Ross Meekin. Scenes haven't been seen for a long time with Stenny v Falkirk.
winning penalty today for you. Yeah. What was the what was going through your mind when you step up? Um, obviously, the, I saw the four boys before me step up, and all of them hit great penalties, and they all go in. So I was down to me. The pressure was on. Um, Five good pens, to be fair. Yeah, it was. And obviously, the folk fans were making some amount of noise at the opposite end. So just as well, it wasn't at that end, to be fair. Yeah, but yeah. no, I, listen, I knew where I was going before it, and. If the keeper dives, it, it dives the right way and lucky enough it was well enough hit and it went into the corner and threw it the next round. How was the build up going into today? Was there a real sense of like this is a derby? Because you don't play each other that often, although you have already played the season obviously. Yeah, no absolutely. Um, the messages throughout the week for the fans and stuff like that, just reminding everybody that it is a, it is a local derby and it's not nice to get uh, to get beat off your local rivals, especially after the last, last time the League Cup we beat 4 0. So, no, we knew it was going to be difficult. Um, Gaffer changed the shape slightly and it worked for us. We kept compact and we got a moment, obviously, with the penalty, 1 0 up, and then lose a last minute goal. It was deflating a bit, but to go through it, the penalties, that's what we came out to do. And just before the games, go through it in the next round, and that's what we've done. And is this a competition that you'd all love to win? Like, I know it's maybe not the biggest cup competition in the world, but. Yeah, absolutely. I think if, if you go into any competition, you. Your aim is to win it, um, and you've beaten probably the favourites. They've now probably beaten the, the best team, um, one, of the the, top, yeah, uh, yeah. one of the top teams in the competition. So I can only go through it next round, see what happens, and um, obviously we had a trophy last year for the first time in so many years. So yeah. if it was two and two, yeah, yeah, the <laughs> I winning culture, yeah, yeah, that. Nice, um, yeah. It's always quite iconic when I come to Steny, isn't it? I've just witnessed them beat their rivals for the first time in a very long time. I've seen them win their first ever league trophy here, and I saw my first ever Scottish football match in that very stadium behind me always always special um, to come to watch Steny play but if you've liked this video then you'll like the other two that are on screen right now if you could click on these to carry on watching I'm sure you will enjoy them and if you've liked this one like I said you've got all the way to the end I'd really appreciate you just watching one more thank you so much and goodbye